Welcome to another quick blitz game with some live commentary. As you can see, the game already started, so let's go. Let's um, let's try the Scandinavian for once. I just like to use this system every now and then, um, especially in blitz. It's fun. You're just trying to pick your opponents pretty early on. This move that's pretty new to me. Normally, I like to take with the queen on d5. Um, I'll probably shoot here as well because that queen b5 is coming, so I don't want to um, allow him to win the b7 pawn there. So queen takes d5. And I guess I go back to d7 for the same reasons. I want to have bishop f5 if he attacks my bishop, so I can at least get my bishop away with tempo. That's quite nice. Knight c6. I'm just curious what happens after d5, but I think I can take the knight. And then have a nice square for my knight to jump to, so let's go for knight c6 here. There is some pressure on the d4 pawn, so I think I'll just castle queen side and try to annoy him a bit more. Yeah, I think he's gonna cost as well. It's really tempting to take the knight on f3 and create a double pawn. But I might have a better move. Maybe just my e6. Yeah, you can defend the knight now, but at least I can continue my development here. Let's go bishop b4. I mean, I'm pretty active at this point. don't have a clear plan, but I hope that will come soon. He's running around with his queen, which is quite uncommon, to be honest. Um, okay, let's play queen e7 just to get out of the d-file and take my bishop. I mean, the queen is not that good position on d7 anyway. It's just stood there because of what happened in the opening. Now rook e1 creates a pin on the knight again, so I think I'm gonna go knight d5. Try to put some pressure on this guy. I mean if he takes pawn takes and both the queen and the rook are hanging, so that's just winning material for me I think. Bishop g5, well that's a bit risky because I think I think of f6 he wants to go back to d2 anyway. Good point, so you weaken my e pawn a little bit. <clears throat> That's okay. I'm trying to trap the queen somehow. There's some knight a5 ideas. Bishop here. And I don't think it works just yet. Let me see. Knight a5. You can also go to b5. Queen d3, bishop a5, knight e4. I guess he survived, even though the knight is pinned, I can't really attack it again, so... Hmm... Okay, let's, let's go knight b6. I'm, I, I still want to put pressure on the queen. Queen is quite vulnerable at this point. Now queen b5, I can just go a6, and I also cover the a4 square. Hmm... Queen b3, I just go knight a5, winning the queen. Okay, I'll play a6, force him to go back to d3, I think. This is looking very good for me, queen d3, I can already take the knight and take the pawn. In the worst case, I think I'll go for that. I'll take the rook on d4, I think, because knight takes the last queen e4, maybe. Oh, then I can just take the bishop. Okay, that, that looks fine. I'll go knight takes d4. Now, I guess I want to grab this bishop, play e5, and I'm just a healthy pawn up, I guess. That's gonna be the plan. But maybe I have more. Let's be careful though, like, move like knight b3, queen e4, yes, check my ideas. 
I might not win material. Um, this is interesting to try though. Hmm. I shouldn't think for too long though, but this is pretty interesting. You know what? Let's just give it a go. Because I think he can't go knight queen e4 because I can just take the bishop, allow him to check me on b7 and just walk away with the king. It is quite nice as well. Weakness pawn structure, then I'll play e5 eventually. Still the white squares might be vulnerable, but I think his, his king is quite weak as well, so that's not such a big deal in my opinion. So we got rook d8, yeah why not. I think he's gonna go queen e4, and I want to go knight d5. Threaten the pawn on c3, prevent checkmate on b7. I can follow up with queen c5, a queen a3 to put more pressure on the pawn there. Uh, now I gotta be a bit careful. Especially concerning my time on the clock. I wanna go b5 actually. I want to see if I square for my queen. There we go. Jump my knight to a4, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe takes. I should have considered queen f7 here. Okay, now I have this intermediate check, which is quite important because now the queen is not going anywhere. Uh, maybe you could have played queen f7 instead of taking on d8. This is looking pretty good for me. Take the f2 pawn and um, I think I'm gonna checkmate him. I don't believe he has any kind of perpetual. I hope I'm not mistaken there. Ooh, he might checkmate me now. That was a big mistake on my side. Um, how do I survive this? Oh crap. I have 96, but then there's no more checkmates, so now I have to be quick. Because I messed up. I thought I could just cruise to the checkmate, but I'm I was clearly mistaken there. Okay, let's see how fast I am. I'm not, let's hope I'm not blundering anything, but so far it is looking good. What is ticking though? I want to exchange the coins real bad. It would make things so much better. Right, some quick pre moves now. Ooh, that's how I'm on time. Mm. I think I'm on time. I started running with both palms now. That's pretty good news. And let's hope I can deliver checkmate. Let's hope I can deliver checkmate here. Oof, that was a close game. Wow. So I needed some time to um, win the ending, and luckily I had just enough time, so 
Let's see what happened there. Let's see what happened there. So the first moves are fine. I won't need the engine here. I think it gets interesting at this point. So let's launch Stockfish and see what he thinks about this game. Okay, so, so what is doing fine as you can see? Which was to be expected. Uh, here I have I have 95 immediately, I guess. But as you can see, his queen is in danger, so... Um, also knight d5 still gives me a better position. Knight b6. Um, so he... Allowed me to go a6, which wasn't even the best move, because I can just take on a3 with the bishop. Um, but also this seems fine, I guess. Bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes. Rook d4 was actually better, according to the engine, but I think this is also good. Ah, wow, knight d5. That is some tricky stuff. I did not see this move coming, to be honest. So, the knight is unprotected all of a sudden, and the e-pawn is pinned. So I have to go knight takes, queen takes d4, and... Okay, he... He got rid of the pin of the knight on c3, and... Uh, his speeds are quite active, but still I'm a pawn up, so... He's not solving wide's problems at all. Just a funny move. King b1, knight b3, and yeah, it was quite good. But took the knight on c3, that was actually pretty good according to the engine as well. And here I played rook d8, but yeah, queen a3 is probably better. Just immediately trying to, to checkmate the white king. Knight c4, knight a4. So many tricky ideas here. Yeah, this looks much better. So after rook d8, queen e2, e5, queen e4. Knight d5. I mean, he's doing, he's playing the right moves here, according to the engine. Still, his position is bad, but at least he's playing the best moves, which means I can't really allow myself to make any mistakes. So b5 was a good move. E4 would have been better, but I think queen c5 is also good. I'm just curious to see where I missed a huge win. Yeah, this was a blunder, and that's because queen f7. That's what I mentioned. And suddenly, what is better? Because he just starts snacking pawns, it seems. Rook d7, rook takes, knight takes, ooh, bishop g4, queen d6, has to protect the knight, and I just snacks a pawn. And he will just capture the knight on the next move and snack another pawn. And without the knight, I will never checkmate the white king anymore, so. That was a huge blunder on my side. Knight b6, what a move. So I could have played a5 apparently. And just follow up with a4, that seems logical. Exchange the queens, and the endgame should be winning for me quite easily. But knight b6, yeah, so he took here, so knight c4 was an important check. And this is where the time trouble started. I should have exchanged the queens much easier, but I decided to take the pawn. And yeah, he has a perpetual according to the engine here. Which makes sense. Oh wow, I played knight... I did play knight d6 here. Oh crap. Just allowing him to win the queen. What was I thinking? Oh man. Terrible move. Knight d6. Wow. Yeah, so it is a draw. I should go back and then it is a draw. Okay. I was already surprised that I had knight d6 and... There was no perpetual, but of course this is a blunder. He didn't see it and then... Okay, then we went to time trouble. I allowed it the second time even. Ooh, gross. And from this one on, it is actually winning. So I won't analyze the entire time trouble because it doesn't make too much sense. Um, I can quickly see if I gave away the win at some point. But I think I did pretty well in time trouble, to be honest. Um, well, apparently I had some checkmate, but okay. Knight e4, check. And I should not play e2, that was a blunder. Giving away a big chunk of my advantage there. Uh, but this has been winning the entire way, so uh, I think at least it takes the bit pawn, the pushing. I do allow him to pass pawn quite easily, which is not the best idea, I think. Uh, but still, it was all enough. C3 is not a pretty move. Apparently, I can go for the breakthrough with B3, pawn takes, then C3. 
And if he tries to stop, I have knight f5, I think, yeah. Now if he tries to bring his queen, I can just start running with two pawns at the same time. And um, he can't really stop that. And the, the bishop is cut off, he can't really defend anymore. But that would have been a good move. Was just winning, b3, nice move. Um, c3, not the best, but I guess still so good. But here I have the same idea. Pushing the pawns. And he can't stop both pawns with just one bishop. So yeah, after I queened it was an easy win, of course. Just had to make sure it was within the time control. So what a messy game. So his, his queen maneuver in the middle game was a bit tricky, but me blundering my queen twice surely wasn't better. Um, oh well, I will wrap it up for now. Thank you guys for watching, and um, hopefully... Um, well, <laughs> hopefully you learned how not to blunder your queen which is pretty vital in Blitz. Okay, thank you.